But because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's what we're seeing on the news, day in and day out. Come on. I will call together all the king of the earth. But y'all have to see what you see happening in Syria and Iraq is what we're reading here. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth. Come on. To reverence me. Uh-huh. Which are from the rising of the sun. Go ahead. From the south, from the east, and Libanus. Libanus is Lebanon. To turn themselves one against another. So God's plan, his program, is to have these nations fight each other. Let's say it again. God's plan is to have these nations fight each other. Read. And repay the things. Listen good to this. And repay the things that they have done to them. Write this down. To them is the Israelites. Everything that you see in the news is a, a direct judgment for what the nations did to the blacks and the Latinos and the Native American Indians. We are the Israelites. It is going to say it crystal clear. Read. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. So what you see happen to Trayvon Martin, what you saw happen to Michael Brown, Kajim Powell, the most I said, I'm not, I'm not sleep on none of that. I see all the injustice. What is your nationality? Because the officer just brought out a lot of scriptures, but what's the point? What is your nationality? When you leave here like you was about to leave, if a person asks you, what do you, what, I say it like this. If a person was to walk up to you and say, hey, what's your nationality, man? Where you come from? What would you tell them? You don't know, right? You don't know. Go to Isaiah 1 and 3. Now I'm finna show you, just like the officer have been showing you the whole time, you're living in the midst of Bible prophecy. Yeah. The words of the Bible are being manifest in front of your eyes. Now we're gonna read a scripture, and what did you say your nationality was? You didn't know. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse three. Read up. Bring it up. The ox knoweth his owner. God is comparing something to an ox. He said the ox, what's an ox? An animal, a dumb animal. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. The ass is a what? A donkey. It say the ox and the owner, which are two animals. It say that one of them is, is it don't know its master. Read. But Israel. But the children of Israel doeth not know. They don't know what. They don't know who they are. Read. My people doeth not consider. The Israelites don't even consider that they are the Israelites. Right. Now, when I just asked you what was your nationality, what did you tell me? You did not know. Now, what is your nationality? Israelite. That's oh, right. Bring it up. You understand right. what I'm saying? Why? Because you just fit that prophecy. Yeah. It just happened right in front of your eyes. You understand? Now, the point in knowing that you're an Israelite is that you must keep God's laws. Right. You understand that? Now, being married is a law of God. Get that. Being married is a law of God. And because we love you, we have to correct you according to God. Why? Because then you will understand that it's not me who's correcting you, but it's God correcting you through me. That's, right. That's why we're reading the Bible, and I'm not just talking. Bring it out! This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse, and verse, and verse 4. Stop. What was Christ's first miracle? Do you know? It's okay if you don't know. Just say, I don't know. Christ's first miracle was turning water into wine at a wedding. But why did God allow Christ to do his first miracle at a wedding? Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Read it out. Marriage is honorable in all. What did he say? Marriage is honorable in all. In the eyesight of God, marriage is what's honorable. Read. 
and the bed undefiled. Uh -huh. But whoremongers. But what? But whoremongers uh -huh. and adulterers, God will judge. God will judge you if you don't get married. Right. Why? Because God has just told you that being married is honorable to him. Right. Being that it's so honorable to him that when he sent his son, he allowed his son to do his first miracle at a wedding. Right. That's how honorable it is to God. You understand what I'm saying? All praises. Bring it out! That marriage certificate. Yeah. Come to the school. Hey, you got the address. Um, what's that on your neck? Uh huh. Uh, right? What's that got to do? What, what, what does that mean? I thought that it was uh, the meaning of the sign of life. Uh -huh. The cross of the sign of death. So all that is, bro, all that is, is idolatry. You got, yeah, I see you got Yeshua and Yahweh on it, too. You know who that is? Yeah. Who's that? has nothing to do with what's on the bottom of it. Yeah. They have nothing to do with that. You mad with that in Habakkuk? See? This is the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2 and verse 18. Bring it out. What profited the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? So what profit does that make? What profit is it? What, what, what are you gaining from that image? Nothing, right? See? The, the molden image uh -huh. and a teacher of lies. What is it? A molden image and a teacher of lies. So the teacher of lies. Crosses, Jesus pieces, all those things are images of lies. We wear them because of what we've been taught they meant. Right. They don't mean anything. Yeah. Give me that in Psalms. Um, was it 96 and 5? Yeah. All gods are idols? Give me that. It doesn't mean nothing, bro. It's like if something was to happen to your mom or something, right? She was to get shot with a 45 or something. Would you rock an ice out 45 in remembrance of your mom? So why would we rock out ice out Jesus peace and hunts? Why do that? It has no it doesn't profit you nothing. Right, read, but watch this. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 4. Huh? No. For the Lord is great. For the Lord is great, read. And greatly to be praised. Uh -huh. He is to be feared above all gods. So God is to be feared above all gods. No matter what religion, no matter what um, no matter what Egypt, no matter what. God is to be feared above all gods, read. Because why though? For all the gods of the nations uh -huh. are idols. All the gods of the nations are idols. You mainly see most Egyptologists are the the chemic community were hunks. The gods that they follow or that they say they follow are idols. We have the one true God. That's right. The God of Israel, the God of the so-called black man, Native American man, and the Hispanic man is the one true God and the only God we shall serve. That's right. So when you are representing an unk or a Jesus piece or anything that's outside of what the Bible says, you are representing idolatry. What? You feel me? So what do you think you should do with that thing, bro? All praise to the most high. All praise. All praise, bro. Let me show you what you just did. Watch this. Because look, don't put it up and put that thing back on later. No, I'm not. Watch this. And I'm going to show you. Watch this. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 22. Uh -oh. Ye shall... Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images. Ye shall defile all the covering of thy graven images, read. Images of silver uh -huh. and the ornaments of thy molten image of gold. Uh -huh. Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. So you shall cast them away as a mistress cloth. The same way that when a woman gets done having her issue, she throw that thing away. Like, I'm done with this. It's the same way you should cast that idol, bro. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? 
That's what the Bible said. I, I just read the Bible. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all I read. That's, I can't argue with you. That's all I read. I didn't give you my own interpretation. I, I just read the words. I can't argue with you. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Man, somebody take that from that brother and throw it Please. <laughs> Please. Please. Or cast it on the way. Cast that shit away. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. All praise to the most high. Listen, that right there, bro, is the fear of God. That's right. That's right. Seriously. That is the fear of God. Most people don't have are not humble enough and have too much pride to fear God. That's right. That was straight sincerity right there, bro. For real. Right? Read, what you got? Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 120. My flesh trembleth for the fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgment. Why? That's what you just applied. That's what you just applied. Right there, bro. It says, your fear trembleth you when that scripture came out. Like, damn. And you fear what? You fear the judgment. There's no telling what happens when you walk away from here. And you heard that and decided to, you know what? I'm keeping this. There's no telling what judgment might have came of that. Now you will see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.